In this car fixing video, this is the Ford Mondeo Mark III 2003 diesel estate. Uh, 2 litre D, what's it called? TDCI. Um, I'm going to try and locate the location. I know where it roughly is, but I'm going to try and locate and then view the fuel pressure regulator because the symptoms I'm getting are, for example, when I'm going into reverse and I've run the car for a while and I'm parking seems to be getting much more of a um the revs are much higher than normal you know, one and a half thousand if you look now it's idling but the uh it's kind of a plug train a little bit it should be on about 800 it's fluctuating at 900 it's going up and down up and down i think one in, the, in a diesel injection high pressure injection system one of the thing that one of the thing that fails the quickest is the uh, this pressure regulator valve and I think that's the only real moving part in a system based on uh, high pressure injection highly pressurized fuel um, this has no fuel pump by the way this car has no fuel pump at the uh, what do you call it fuel tank and there's no fuel pump in there all the fuel look at it, it's just moving up and down all the fuel pressures comes from the fuel pump at the engine uh, so I've, I mean, I made a mistake. I remember buying what I thought was a fuel pump system at the um, tank end, and what I realised is it's just a like a floating system that let you know how much fuel you've got left. Right. So remember, this guy's not got a fuel sender, is what you call it, at the fuel tank. You know, don't bother dropping it or anything like that, unless you're getting problems with the gauge, and even then, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, so I'm going to try and locate it, buy it on the internet, and uh, next week I'll take it all apart again and install it. It's going to warm me up a tiny bit. I'm going to reverse the car so I get better access. And oh, one of the other symptoms is when I am traveling and going on cruise control, it drops the cruise control and it comes up with an error. It kind of like it'll struggle and then it'll come up with an error, it'll come up with a, down there, it'll come up like them little curly yellow lines. Then I've got like, as I'm moving, flaming, crank it off, switch it off, switch off the engine, key off, without pulling the key out, do it, <laughs> do whatever you do, don't pull the key out when you're key offing it, because you'll lose steering, right? I mean, your steering will get stiff as you do that, because there's nothing pumping the steering, right? But it's not, you can still steer it, the thing is, if you key off it, it'll steer lock, and then you'll, you'll just crash. So what I normally do is, buy, okay, probably the safe thing is to come to a stop, if you can, pull to safe place, turn it off, keep, keep the key in the ignition, crank it back on, and then and then it's okay again. So that always happens quite often when I'm struggling uphill on cruise control, and it can happen. So it's been happening more now when I'm on the wrong gear lower gear of going uphill cuts itself off so that i think is the fuel pressure regulator valve and on my other car the hyundai it was a p1186 but this is not coming up as an error when i test it right so that, those are the faults let me reverse the car and uh, show you what you get plastic shroud off move your dipstick you check the oil too bad, changed it the other day. Don't do that in case you shut the bonnet on it. Oh, by the way, when I checked the oil the other day after I changed it, there was another one. That was deposit. Oh, I can tell, isn't it? it comes off. Don't step on it. It's not in a safe place, right? So it's down there. Oh, yes. Let me see my camera. It's picking this up. Should have got one of them um, magnet, magnet thing new bolts in case it drops on it. I'll use the dips at the point. It is there. Right there. In fact, I can view this quite well. To the one above it is not it. See these nuts here? They lock on the bracket. Oh, I see the nuts. 
that's not the point where it's not the one this brown underneath is it so EGR valve uh, pipe can take off and take this off when I've done it all before and get a good view on it and aside from that I'm probably the best place to leave it back here Right, underneath that blue plug, just behind that, see the electric cable shroud, I'm shining a light just there. Mine is just to the right of that blue plug. And um, when I'm shining, when well, I'm putting it in the middle of the screen, that's probably the best shot. Well, I've got that light, there's a round thing, isn't there? So to diagonally to the right, on well, the blue plug where that fuel pipe is going into and above that see that little thing it looks like you can fit just the edge of it oh, crescent moon you can fit a tv piece and turn it that is a fuel pressure regulator i didn't really need taking things apart so i'm looking at the shape of it studying the shape of it making sure i get the right one for as a replacement so what i'm doing in this video all right, hit the like, subscribe. A slightly different angle. That brown plug underneath the blue one fits onto this. It fits down on the length of it. The same pokes out on the side of this um, regulator valve. I'll just see some light. Of something. It sticks out of the side and it comes up. That's where you plug the brown plug into. So that's the kind of thing I can see. Trying to keep the light on this thing. I can see that it talks. This is this sort of stuff is essential. I link here your torques, I can't see it from here. A bit of torque, shouldn't I? A bit of ice, it looks like um, torques. Probably like a three joint at three places, the pump, three places joint, I think. All right.